Senator Coyle. Honorable colleagues, I rise today to celebrate our cherished colleague and friend, the late Honorable José Faure Nissing. In the words of her obituary, for those who cherish José, it is her compassion, astute mind, her grace, humor, and her inexhaustible resilience hidden behind her radiant smile that will remain in our hearts forever. Colleagues, I was completely captivated the day that tall, striking beauty walked into our chamber proudly and stylishly, of course, adorned in the green and white of the Franco-Ontarian flag. We clicked immediately, sharing our feelings of awe, privilege, and the weight of our duty on being appointed to this august chamber. We shared stories of our health, of facing our mortality, and our mutual desire to use our time and good health to live life fully and to contribute. Jose's commitments to Canada, to her Franco-Ontarian community of Sudbury, to bilingualism, to matters of criminal and social justice, to reconciliation and her own Abenaki roots, and to Senate modernization were clear. Last summer, we connected on a birthday package a few of us were sending to jailed Filipina Senator Leila de Lima and about supporting Afghan women judges. Senator Fori Nising and Senator Pate worked to organize prison visits for senators. Jose was supposed to be with Senators Pate, Jaffer, McFedrin, Deacon, and I when we visited Nova Institution for Women and Spring Hill Institution last October. But sadly, she had contracted COVID-19 and was unable to join. Senator Fori Nising worked tirelessly on Senate modernization spearheading an effort to work with colleagues across the chamber to look at ways of improving our committees. In the chamber, we were treated to Senator Fori Nissing's thoughtful debate on National Women's Skirt Day, the UN Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples, systemic racism, the independence of the judiciary, and firearms legislation, among others. Honorable colleagues, José Fori Nissing was a capable leader with a big, beautiful heart. She loved her colleagues, especially Louise Mercier and Nour El Farouk. And wow, did she ever love her family, ses parents, ses sœurs, Sylvie et Dominique, son conjoint Robert, ses enfants Véronique et Philippe, et ses petits trésors, Jacob et Léo. To her family, thank you so much for sharing José with us. Please know we share your grief.